Hi there, uh, this clip will be about a very simple job and the job is to swap out these spring perches sitting under the coil springs in the front uh, Sure, it's a very simple job but uh, too many that never done it, it can be difficult uh, This video will also not show the stock suspension I have installed a Global West upper control arm but for you guys or girls that have stock suspension, the work is in the similar way, but uh, you, it will look different. In this video I will not install the regular stock ones, instead I will purchase uh, from opentrackerracing.com uh, spring purchase with rollerball bearings. Uh, this is recommended when you will use a higher rate of springs, since it will uh, apply more force to the bottom end and uh, that's important to have something that can move freely and without friction so here we have uh, the stock one to the left and this one has a solid uh, rubber bushing that uh, doesn't move at all it's uh, quite solid and uh, just tweaks around itself here's the rollerball bearing and uh, as you can see no problem to turn it around uh, I don't understand why Ford didn't do this in the beginning for some reason they stick to the rubber one so let's jump in and start digging in uh, first of all lift up the car this is how I do it I lift in the frame subframe and, uh, place a jack here uh, safely secured and then you're off to zip out the lug nuts to remove the wheel. So here we are. We're going to remove the this spring protection. And uh, first of all remove the shock here. So the first part is this shock tower mounted bracket. Like uh, remove these nuts and bolts here. I don't remove the middle bolts in the shock because I have a different type of stock. So I just do this. So it just up with them like this. And then off with the spring bracket protector, just three bolts. So just zip them those out. Really simple. And after this, it's time to remove the two lower nuts for the shock. It's uh, those there and there. It can be very tight. You need a, a long socket with a narrow shank, I would say. And when you remove those nuts, it's just to lift out the shock. It, this one is a little beefier than its stock, but uh, it comes out quite easy. So it's very simple to remove this. Now to the very tough part and that is to compress the springs. I use these uh, very standard type of spring compressors. Uh, actually not quite good but it works for me. Uh, you have to cut them to correct length. To not to jam them in. I know there are much better wants to buy but this is what I got and this is what you gotta see and probably buy yourself. Before installing the compressor it's a good idea to pump up the spring as much as you can with a jack. So place a jack under the control lower control arm like here you can see this and then pump it up as much as you can then you get some additional lift without having to screw these compressors. Now this is a two hand job so <laughs> bear with me I can uh, just show some of the movements here. Uh, it's difficult to have a camera in hand also but here they are in place both of them and uh, I start to lift with the jack and then follow up with the compressors it's much easier to do it this way it's a lot of force otherwise to manhandle these spring, spring compressors uh, the final compressor you need you need a big spanner and uh, 
compress the final bit to remove the spring. It's a very strong spring, so be careful. I'm very observant that the don't, doesn't jump out of the spring compressors uh, uh, hooks anyway here's the spring off uh, to get it off it can be a little you need an extra push here with a crowbar probably the spring is a little move but you can lower the upper control arm a little bit more with the crowbar and here's the spring touch door stock one and there's only two bolts to remove. In the same time, uh, check the upper rubber spring uh, mount here, so it's okay and fresh. The new spring purchase is just to bolt back. Nothing special to see here. Here's the function. It will be much quieter and better to ride with this one than a stock one. Then you work backwards, use the crowbar to get in the spring again. You have to, I can't show you exactly how I do it, but uh, it's a matter of jamming it in. Nothing special here. Just, just to be careful and beware of the, of the spring force and movement. It can, it has, it can kill you and <laughs> take off an arm. So this is a very critical. Well, it, f it seems to fit real nice. Checked so the spring against the tang in the back here. It often moves to the correct position anyway when you start driving. So that's not so super perfect. Then just slide in the new shock. And before you do that, keep the upper control arm horizontal with the jack. Uh, then it's much easier to insert the nuts. Uh, here you see the studs where the shock is installed. So the socket is very tight. I will uh, show you here with my uh, long socket here. It goes up there. Sorry for the <laughs> movement here, but. As you can see, it's very tight, so you need a long, narrow shaft. And then install the nuts for the shocks, and you're there. So when these nuts and bolts are in place, you just have the spring protection plate to put back. Nothing to show here, but there it is, and you're ready. So this is a clip for seven minutes to install the spring purchase. Uh, leave your comments if it was too quick for you, but I think uh, shorter videos giving more than a long tedious video. Uh, but leave your comments if you want a longer versions ahead. Thank you and see you.